And joining us to discuss this is a lawyer, Fasi Yusuf. Good to have you join us. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, I want to get to the legal implication implication of this, but let's start by just looking at an, an overview of this. Um, the, the Southern Governors did set September the 1st as the deadline for the implementation or the signing into law of the anti-open grazing bill in their states. Um, but some state governors have signed it. Governors like um, Akira Delu has signed it. We know that um, Wike has also signed this bill uh, and some other governors. But some governors have it at the state houses of assembly. Um, they have not been able to meet that deadline. But some other governors have not even done anything about it. And we hear like uh, someone like uh, the Imo State Governor might jettison the idea as a whole. What do you make of this? Well, uh, well, we're talking about uh, a state trying to get to see the decision reached by the southern governors. Well, it has no force of law, but all you can say is that uh, there's a crack uh, within the within the club of uh, southern governors, and uh, that is not to be unexpected because uh, it has a political connotation. Don't forget that uh, the particular governor we're talking about is uh, is from rheumatizing with uh, the presidency. So it is it is understandable. But by and large, the decision, I mean, the, the law as enacted by the state government, I mean, as of assembly and as a, uh, endorsed by the governor, is a right step in the right direction. Many other states are following suit. And indeed, your state, even though has not been able to operate it, you know, put it into effect two years ago. But uh, whether it has uh, the political will to really implement that uh, act is uh, something else. But so, by and large, it's, I think we don't even need that law if, I, if we are really operating a, a federal system of government, a, a democracy. Because the question is very clear about it. it the land belongs to the people of a particular state and is held in trust for them by the governors of the various states. So it's not a federal issue at all. And I want, to get to, to, I want to get to that in a moment, whether, the, the, whether, the test, yes. whether this is a test for federalism in the country. But let's look at the uh, implication of this uh, in terms of the legal aspect of, the, of it. Now, if some southern governors decide that they are not going to go through with this decision or the resolution made at the, um, in Asaba some time ago, and then you have a state that has the anti-open grazing bill law in their, that state, another state that doesn't have one, um, if you have headers in a particular state for example and want to make a, a transit you know I'm moving to another state that has that law and there is a state in between that doesn't that has that law in place what then happens can that state be used as some sort of transit to the next state where that law um, is, is not operational what is the legal implication of a non-uniform policy here ordinarily once a law has been passed by a state it should be put into effect but because of the peculiar federalism that we practice, because the federal government is in control of the machinery, especially the police, that uh, will arrest and investigate and possibly prosecute, the state will not be able to enforce that law. But ordinarily, it should be able to enforce the law. So if the police were to to perform constitutionally, they should hold those people engaging in open grazing culpable, and they should be prosecuted. But here we are in this country, the federal government will threaten its muscle. The commissioners of police that are supposed to report to the governors, but because they have a leader who is the Inspector General of Police, they prefer to respect whatever decision or whatever authority that is passed uh, down um, by the Fasi Inspector Yusuf, General of Just quickly, because I have a few seconds left, my question really was, yes. ca can a header use um, on, for example, uh, your state or on those that has that law, uh, anti-open grazing law, and pass through that state to a place like Lagos that doesn't have that law in place? Quickly, like yes or no? 
It will be a criminal act. It will be an illegal All right. act. All right. Thank you so much for talking to us, lawyer Fasi Yusuf. My pleasure. My pleasure.